Okay, I got some great news. As of uh, the, this is for the 50 series cards. I have stated many times before that the 50 series cards did not have support or lack thereof support for the 32 bit physics support. As of uh, driver, game ready driver 591.44, it now supports NVIDIA physics. So, so literally the 50 series cards. Now I recommend a 50 series card. Let me explain. So, Many, many games before, if you guys are not familiar, uh, the 40 series cards supported, or at least the, the driver for the 40 series cards supported NVIDIA physics, while the 50 series cards did not support NVIDIA physics. So when it comes to, we're going to go right ahead and do this. So in surprise charge, in a surprise change of heart, NVIDIA brought 32-bit physics support back to the 50 series cards that, that means like all the physics all the the 50 series i lack of sleep please just be patient brought back the 50 series brought nvidia physics back to the 50 series cards so the all the 50 series cards i can now actually recommend so that that includes alice madness returns Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag even, so take note of that. Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Origins, Borderlands 2, Mo Mafia 2, Metro 2033, and Last Night, and then especially Mir Mirror's Edge as well, which we're going to be taking a look at. Batman, uh, one of the Batman games, and here's the thing. I don't have a 50 series card at all, but I do have a couple of video no fuck off i do have a video that i would like to actually show you guys also link down description to the channel and also the video down below if you guys can please like the video so we're gonna go right ahead go to youtube and then we're gonna go to the history and then this is what we looked at we also looked at a different one this is how to skip ads because fuck ads and then what we're going to do is, okay, so you, you notice how it is like 20 FPS here. And then it is, this is what the, the NVIDIA physics, and I don't remember where, okay, we're going to remember 133, 131 to 133. So, right Right now, Frostburn has everything turned to its highest. V-Sync is turned off, although anti-aliasing like to, that, that, that don't matter. So we're going to go back to this. Now, you notice how the frame rate, and this is literally, you go and buy it, you go and buy these things. This is around the time. You go and buy these things, and it's a waste of money because NVIDIA took out the support. I think it's like with the, with the, driver for specifically for this you go and you buy this card for god knows how much waste of fucking money because then your games run worse on the newer cards rather than old ones because of the lack of 32-bit support physics now as of recently the nvidia driver 591.94 has support for for physics i don't know what prompt nvidia to ultimately decide to bring it back but this is good this is great because now i can now state hey go and buy it buy the 50 series cards Be before in many of my videos before actually i have stated that the 50 series cards are a waste of fucking money because of the lack of uh nvidia physics support so obviously showcasing this get off my fucking screen Get off my fucking screen. Get it. Thank you. Obviously, showcasing this. I mean, you go and buy this fucking thing. It's just like there, there's no point to buying this because of now, now you can't play your older games, right? You know, the whole point of PC gaming is to be able to like play anything. Okay, with consoles, obviously, with the I'm gonna have to mention the the I'm gonna pull out my hair saying this. The PS5. This is a different subject altogether but you can't play your ps3 games at all uh, unlike the the series s and x 
ironically. You can't go and, and play your PS3 games. Okay, you can't play your back compact games unless they actually. There's some back back compact games. I mean, PS1 games are now becoming a thing on the PS5. Should have been there in the beginning, but this is a whole thing. Why I like PC gaming is the 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 full support for older games and being able to play basically anything. Now, argument aside, yes, you could have you could just disable the Nvidia physics just to play the game but why should we disable the nvidia physics just to play the game which it it's made by nvidia nvidia should still be able to support their software and them taking out the 32-bit support for the 50 series cards again i argued a, a while back in many of my videos don't buy a the, waste of fucking money for 50 series buy a 40 series cards those who are who have been subscribed to me know this. Now I can now like comfortably state now go ahead buy 50 series cards. Support Nvidia with this decision because they made it ultimately they made a great decision when it comes to the like the 32 bit physics support. Now as I've stated previously what would I choose ray tracing or would I choose NVIDIA physics? At the end of the day, always I would choose NVIDIA physics. I, I would choose that over ray tracing because this is a better option than ray tracing, in my opinion. In my opinion. Not everybody's opinion remains in line with mine, but I am just stating, in my opinion, I think physics, I would choose NVIDIA physics at the end of the day, you know. So obviously this is a huge difference with the same game. Now we're now he's sitting on 316 FPS rather than 20 FPS. So like before when you bought a 50 series cards in general, you're you're getting a downgrade in general, okay? You're getting less. With the 40 series cards that did support the Nvidia physics, you're getting more, okay? I am current the reason why I can't like I can't like showcase this myself is because yes, I did upgrade my computer a while back. My my GPU right now is a 3060 12 gig. Okay, the, the, I'm still I'm set. You know, I'm set. I can run about maybe even the same frame rate as him. I'm set. Okay. I I've and I've played Mirror's Edge Catalyst or not Catalyst, but I played Mirror's Edge on this. And I, I'm running smooth, buttery smooth, even with NVIDIA physics enabled. Uh, as of right now, uh, and my uh, current driver, in case you guys are curious, I'm going to go right ahead and open this information. There's a specific driver I like to keep it on. I think I've upgraded it to 581.29. I This is like the, the best driver I've actually had. And th there's, a, there's a, obviously the, the driver for the nvidia as of right now it's a newer one but right now this is what i'm sticking with unless i actually upgrade to the one i i can now briefly say upgrade to a 50 series card instead of downgrade <laughs> it's funny uh so i can now briefly upgrade to a 50 series card and with this specific driver which i have you know set on my desktop so i remember that this this is great news and i think yeah this is great news so we're gonna go right ahead and cut to another part where now same thing with uh nvidia phys no nvidia physics support with the 5090 if you guys can it, i i've mentioned this please uh give this video a like subscribe to frostburn down below they do a bunch of benchmarking tests with a lot of different things. So if you guys can, please support them. I'm going to go right ahead and I'm just going to keep this window open in case. And showing, like, obviously the the load is all the way. You can you can tell that it, it's not putting any load because the the Nvidia physics. Is literally holding back like the lack of Nvidia physics so it's just like it's just trying to process everything all at once while you're getting buttery smooth frame rates with the the latest 5.91 support 
So I'm excited for this. If I do get the chance, I'll pick a 50 card up or a 50 series card up. But lack of sleep. So my like I'm just I feel weird today. Anyway, I do look forward to picking up one of these cards now. Before I just I, I was totally against the 50 series cards because of NVIDIA pulling a anti-consumer lack of NVIDIA 32-bit physics support move. But now I am for this, okay? And now now these 50 series cards are worth it, in my opinion. So do keep in mind the some games might struggle. Still, there might be some issues because obviously running older games on newer cards, there there there's bound to be some some problems. But altogether, it just looks like it's you know an improvement in terms of the performance. You know, I I don't see anything wrong with this at all. The only thing I see wrong is the older older Nvidia driver, but. Definitely, as of uh, driver five nine one point nine four, and I'm gonna also link that in my uh, description down below, like so you guys remember the exact driver. If you please go ahead upgrade to five nine one point nine four, and also if you're thinking about getting a fifty series card, it's safe to get one now. So, do I still recommend the older like the forty series and below? Maybe not. I, I don't know. I'm kind of like down in the middle now. So, if you get a 50 series card, you're still going to have a good time. However, the 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 40 series and below is still pretty good, pretty good to this day. Like I said, I'm on a 30, 60, 12 gig, or else I would have actually done my own benchmark. But considering that we're react, reacting to Frostburn, uh, go ahead, give them a like, and then subscribe to their channel down below. So, good news on this part. This is great. I wonder if they have tested anything else. Nope. It's just Mirror's Edge. This this is all we need. This is all we need. I know that Borderlands, Borderlands 2, and there's a bunch of videos on, obviously, YouTube, so you guys can check out many videos with the new official support. Like, I did not see, I did not see this coming at all. I thought in video for, it's stupid. It's so stupid. This, this just looked, this makes NVIDIA look a little bit more dumb because they now just brought it back. They could have just kept it in if it wasn't even an issue in the first fucking place. Maybe there was. Who knows? I'm not. I'm not. Work. I'm not a software engineer. I wouldn't know this shit. So what the fuck am I talking about? Otherwise, this is good news. Anyway, that's it. Just want to report on this. Very good news with the 50 series cards. If you guys did like the video feel free to like it also please go ahead and like frost frostburns frostburn 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 i'm gonna say frostburn frostburn's channel give them a like and also subscribe to their channel and if you're new to my channel you haven't really you know if you did enjoy the video you want to see more of these feel free to subscribe Everything's kind of optional but on my end but please go ahead and give them a like and subscribe to them because they do a lot of benchmarks so anyway that's it for me today excellent fucking upgrade nvidia and then i will catch you guys on the next video as always and peace